Everybody in Britain loves a bit of crumpet, and here is how you get some. I mean, I mean, make some. With jam. A crumpet dough is a yeasty dough, and that's what gives it those bubbles as you which cook. Which makes it British. Which is what makes it British as well. So, all we need to do is take our flour and dump it in. It's half strong flour, half plain flour, and then add to that cream of tartar, dried yeast, and warm water, and give it a good beat. It's probably worth pointing out that the cream of tartar, I have made this recipe before without it, it does work. It's kind of an old traditional ingredient and it's mm -hmm. used for anti-caking or anti-cacking, you know, when flowers clump together in the olden days. Anti-cacking? Yeah. Now we okay. live in a drier world and our dry store isn't quite as damp, you, you need it less, but it's there for traditional sake. Looks like a bumpy hair paste. It is quite thick and pasty. Cover your doughy, battery kind of thing with cling film and put it in a warm place for an hour. And this is our nice frothy one. Have you been in the airing cupboard for an hour? No, I just went and got, I did this one earlier. Oh, okay. You can see how much it's risen. That's all the yeast doing its lovely stuff. We'll beat that out. Crumpet can be sexy. For those of you who don't know, crumpet can also be a double entendre for... Um, uh, hot, young... Female... Or... Sex. Ideally, you'd leave this for another 15 minutes or so uh, with the salt, but we're going to move straight on. We've got warm milk and bicarb of soda. So another raising agent, put that into there, and then that into there, and if you beat that all together... Okay, chemistry lab this, isn't it, today? It kind of is. Your cream of tartar stopping it from sort of clumping together. Mm. You've got the yeast, which is a live organism that's expanding, and now the bicarb also for a bit of lift. Keep going until that's really, really smooth. And in the meantime, heat up your griddle pan, because crumpets are basically griddle cakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was doing it wrong. You're just a little bit gentle with your crumpet, aren't you? Oh, well, just yeah. Well, yeah. You've got to really get in there. There <laughs> you we say go. So. <laughs> there we go. Right. Shut up. Next up, we've got these. These are uh, rings. You can get egg rings. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's a crumpet ring. That's only because of what I don't you're think, using I don't it for. Think they're called crumpet rings. If you go to a shop and ask for a crumpet ring, they'll give you a funny look. And this is what makes these crumpets slightly different, is that they actually cook in the ring mm -hmm. rather than free form on the griddle. So grease the inside of your ring. You can use the butter. Place it onto a hot griddle pan and then pour in your batter so that it half fills the ring into each of them and leave it for about four to seven minutes, and that's, that's quite a variable. That is. But it will depend on how hot your griddle is. What you're looking for is something that has risen, mm -hmm. pretty much set on top, but the air bubbles that are poking through are staying where they are and not filling in. You'll see what I mean. Now, no crumpet would be complete without some homemade jam, and we're making some of our own. Hold your strawberries, chop them up, and stick it in a pan with an equal weight of sugar and a splash of water. It's worth pointing out the sugar is very special sugar. It's jam sugar or preserved sugar, and that's because it's slightly higher in pectin than regular sugar. Bring that to the boil and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now we're going to cook our crumpets the entire way through, but you could leave them slightly undercooked, so you can let them cool now and then reheat them the next day and have them for breakfast. Now you know your crumpets are pretty much done and ready to flip when these bubbles that come to the top burst and don't fill back in again. You can always just test one, this middle one if I pop it, it's still too wet and the mixture caves back in. When it no longer caves, you can remove the ring, careful they're hot, and give them a flip. To finish off your jam, stick it in a sterilised jar. That'll make it last a lot longer. To learn how to do that, go to saltedfood.com and get all the details. And there we go, crumpets and homemade strawberry jam, sorted. sorted. Got some jam on it, crumpet. Uh, I'd like some crumpet with my butter, please. <laughs> <laughs> that actually tastes oh. like a crumpet. Mm. If you want this sort of reaction from your friends, go get the recipe at sortedfood.com and give it a go. That actually is really good. What if this actually works? Yeah. Of course they're good. <laughs>